stop. No one's watching. It's okay. You don't need to impress anyone. Today, we're gonna slow things down. We're gonna talk about musicality, a quick and simple yet very efficient exercise that we do very naturally when we speak. Today, we're gonna apply that on the instrument. It's gonna make the whole difference. We're gonna talk about breathing. That's coming up. Hi, my name is David Wallerman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players like you find your voice on the instrument, develop it to tell your own personal musical story. I strongly believe that music can communicate really powerful things. And um, we've seen that in the world. It can be used for the good of people, it can be used for the bad of people, but music has power. And we're gonna go back to that original thought process when we start speaking with our instrument. And we're gonna look at what happens when we're actually speaking with our voice, which is another instrument. When we convey ideas to others, we need to convey ideas to others, of course. But how do you do that? Well, you do that by realizing that other people need time to digest what you're telling them. If I just spoke with no commas, no punctuation, well, my speech would be really difficult to follow. Maybe it is already, I don't know. But it would be even harder to follow without any silences for you to digest what I'm telling you. And we're gonna do that with music. And one of the best ways to do that is to approach it like a sax player, for example, who does it very naturally. A sax player can't play anything if he's out of breath. We're gonna apply that to our instrument. Now, yes, it might be a little, a little strange. And it was for me when I, when I played that intro in the beginning, reminding myself of that. And maybe it wasn't as uh, fluent as I would be if I just approached this from the instrument side. But I'm convinced that if I do this exercise a little bit more, my leads and your leads are gonna be a lot more efficient and impactful on the listener. You gotta remember that the listener doesn't know what you're gonna tell him. And you need to almost seduce the listener into what you're playing so that he can get into what you're playing. If you start throwing a bunch of notes, very technical things right away, that might speak to guitar players and they might really appreciate what you're doing, but that's it. You gotta remember that you know most people who are gonna listen to your music might not be into guitar. Um, and we're gonna try to speak to both. And today we're really gonna focus on speaking to someone who maybe doesn't know about sweeping, alternate picking, economy picking, and maybe doesn't even care about it. We're gonna go to the essence of music by developing simple ideas using our breath, and of course our fingers, and this instrument, which is gonna replace our voice. All right, grab your guitar. We're gonna get started with a close-up. Here we go. Today we're gonna work in the key of D major, which is the key of the backing track that I was playing in, in the intro. And watch this video till the end, I'll tell you how to get that backing track for free. And the position itself doesn't really matter. What really matters here is phrasing and preparing what we're gonna speak musically on the instrument, which is really what this channel is all about. And for that, we're gonna go where we're very comfortable and that's our speech. When I'm talking to you right now, there are two things happening. There are pitches. If I replace my, my speech here with ta-ta, uh, not words, but ta-ta, you would have something like ta 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 right? Different pitches going on and also rhythm and silences. Those silences are really important and they fall very naturally when I'm speaking to you. Whenever I need to take a breath, I'm gonna have to stop to take a breath and that's really the core of this exercise. In order to do this, we're gonna start with our language. We're gonna say uh, a sentence. Any sentence is okay, but uh, let's try this one. Today, we're gonna talk about guitar. That was my sentence, and at the end of this sentence, I'm gonna take a breath, and I'm gonna say another one. But let's take a look at that sentence. So we have pitches going on. Today we're gonna to talk about guitar. We're not really worried about the pitches, but we're worried about the rhythm. So if I replace, today we're gonna to talk about guitar with rhythm, I have something like this. Um, today we're gonna talk about guitar. 10, ten uh, syllables, 10 notes, 10 different pitches. Um, Da ga, da ga, da ga, da ga, da ga. Okay? 
Today we're going to talk about guitar. Today we're going to talk about guitar. Taka, 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 taka. And we're going to take our D major scale. You can play any notes, but we're just going to send that scale. That, you can see that on the screen. You can use the three note per string pattern or the cage system. It doesn't really matter. But ten notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Take a breath and say another sentence. Um, uh, I love guitar. Taka taka. Take a breath. Okay? And you're making up a story like that. Okay. So what happened there in my mind, I'll give you a glimpse of what's in my mind. Um, I was basically speaking so the words themselves don't really matter but but speaking rhythm motifs la 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 taka 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 ta taka ta and the breaths are we're going to stop playing so what you could do is as you're playing some some uh, melodic ideas using that d major scale you're going to uh, make some sound take a breath uh, Ah, whenever you hear the ah, that's when you when you're playing something. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that kind of thing. And this is really really important. It it sounds weird. It's going to be strange, but it's really going to teach you where those breaths need to happen. I'm going to do it without the ah, so that, you, so that your neighbor doesn't think you're watching something that that is not a guitar lesson. But this is what we have. It sounds musical, right? And that's all because of the breaths. There's another element here, and this is an element of building your speech, building your, your story. You need to dumb things down. In a story, when you're telling a story, you go from one idea to the other. Musically, go even, um, even simpler than that. Instead of going from one idea to the other, really and tie all these ideas together. For example, if you're reading a book, we're not talking about musically, you're, you're reading a story. Today, the princess woke up. She was feeling really happy. She was happy because the sun was shining, so she went outside. She put her hat on sun hat, <laughs> and so forth. Okay, now let's take that story and dumb it down. I promise there is a point here. Today, the princess woke up. She woke up because she was rested. Oh yes, she was rested. She was rested because she had eight hours of sleep. See how I'm really um, um, taking that idea that she was sleeping and she was resting and made a few sentences out of that. I'm not going from one idea to the next. I'm really building my story. So it's a longer story. Musically, what does that uh, look like? Well, if I'm just um, saying my story like, the, like I did in the first way, I'm going from one idea. Today the princess woke up. It could be this. She, um, it was a beautiful day outside. She put her hat on. And she went outside. Okay, all these ideas, all these licks, there's some kind of continuity, but once I played that lick, I'm moving on to the next. Okay, we're gonna do it a different way. We're really gonna insist on an idea. So if the idea is today the princess woke up, um, we're gonna insist on that, say it a different way. She woke up from a long sleep. A long sleep that she really needed. So basically I'm taking the end of an idea, for example this. I'm gonna repeat the end to remind you what I said. And then do it again. I'm 
staying in the same zone. So if I finish my idea here, those few notes, the, the ending notes, I'm gonna use that as a starting point to a new idea. So there are two things happening. There are the ideas that are tied to, a, to each other, but there's also the silence between the ideas that you're working on with a ah, and all breathes. Catching my breath. Right? I'm building a story musically with no backing track involved. That's the idea. And this is the kind of thing you could do on a walk without a guitar. Learning how to build an idea with your, your rhythm, your breathing, and the development, which is taking a lick and studying it again from the end. Don't be scared to insist on something. I'm gonna play a little bit, and hopefully you'll see the, the thread between one idea to the next, the common thing, the breaths, and the, the, um, the, the shortness of the idea. An idea is a standalone idea. So we have multiple lakes that are tied to each other rhythmically in silences, and silences, and this is the kind of thing that you'd have. <laughs> This is very organic. It's not something that I've learned. It's not uh, that kind of thing. It's not lick based. It's really story driven. I really encourage you to try this on your own with a backing track, without a backing track. And I really think that it's going to pay off in your improvisation and, and teach you things about yourself that you might not know yet. And if you find something cool that speaks to you by doing this exercise, <laughs> That's something that you need to develop because it's from inside of you and that's what makes you, you on the guitar. You can download the backing track that I was using at the beginning for free. All you need to do is visit the link below, enter your best email address and I'll be sending you right away for you to practice this breathing concept. If you do this on a regular basis, it's gonna come out very naturally in your playing at some point and uh, that's gonna make a big difference between who you are and who they are. You wanna be who you are. Remember, nobody can play the way you play on the guitar. This is what this channel is all about. And if this was your first visit, I would encourage you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button because every single week I have about three videos coming out helping guitar players like, like you, like me, like us find our voice and develop it to tell our own musical story. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.